we're featuring now the core of Tom Timko yep. is joining us now. Um, and I see that you and Kara called each other and you yeah. coordinated today. You're wearing a shade yeah. of pink. I guess I'm not completely out of it. It's more of a magenta, but I'll take the pink on that one. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us what you brought in. Yeah, so I brought a couple of nice dishes that we have mm -hmm. featuring uh, here for Restaurant Week. We have our roasted beet salad, which Yum. is really, really nice. A uh, Luxardo cherry vinaigrette that we make in-house with some pickled red onion here, some fresh uh, Marcona almonds, little goat cheese, some spinach and uh, arugula. It's absolutely these amazing. Beautiful. like goat cheese pearls almost. Yeah, I've never yeah, yeah, seen yeah. a little round like that. They're so beautiful. Yeah, these salads are absolutely fantastic, especially throw a little protein on there, a little crab cake, a little yeah, fresh uh, sure. grilled chicken breasts. It's sure. absolutely amazing. I mean, beets are kind of, I feel like it's like the kale of a couple years ago. Beets are kind yeah, of sure. everywhere yeah. you look. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think they're coming back. They're delicious. Yeah. You know? yeah, and look at back. this. This, I mean, pasta. So you can't go wrong with a right. good bowl of pasta. Yeah, so right here on our right, we have a little rigatoni bolognese. Uh, this is one of our crowd favorites here as well. Also what we're doing for restaurant week. Um, little meat sauce, kind of a ground beef and pork combination there with some uh, roasted rosemary needles and a truffle ricotta with a little bit of fresh pecorino romano. It yeah. always goes nice. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Rate My that gosh. cheese. That's right. You just tell me when. <laughs> <laughs> we won't say when. Um, well, that's absolutely fantastic. Talk about Restaurant Week and, and what it does to the business uh, over at the core. Yeah, sure. So especially at the beginning of the year, um, a lot of businesses around here take kind of a, a dip in uh, sales. And, you know, I think everyone's kind of hurting around that time. And we like to kind of amp up that business with throwing some nice specials down for Definitely. people, especially for us. We kind of opened up a lot of our menu for this week. Uh, we're going just kind of throwing some things out there and doing a creme brulee for dessert there as well. And oh. it just really, really gives us some nice, maybe some new business and new faces yeah. in our restaurant. I was going to say, I'm sure that you've seen that, uh, new people coming in and, and experiencing what you have to offer. And then they stick around and become good regulars for you. That's what we're kind of hoping. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. And, and what did Harry? you bring here to pair with it? Oh, of course, yeah. So this is one of my favorite wines that we have at the Cork. Uh, this is a special order wine Rada by Rada Estates. This is a Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, in the Marlborough region in New Zealand. Uh, this is actually a really, really famous region for Sauvignon Blancs. Uh, they come in a really, really nice flavor profile of uh, grapefruit is kind of that, that star flavor there with a really, really nice acidity that can kind of cut some elements down in a lot of dishes. That this is absolutely like fantastic. That would go so well with that salad here. It yeah. would. Uh, like I said, it's one of my favorites. So I'd pair it with almost any dish here. Yeah. <laughs> so these are the two main specials that you're offering through Restaurant Week. And of course, you've got a wide range on the menu as well. Yeah, sure. So these are uh, two of of some of the specials that we are featuring. Um, for lunch, we're doing a, we do a handful of burgers and sandwiches that we have, and same through for dinner as well. Um, we are doing a top sirloin as well for uh, one of our steakhouse items. Um, and also pairing with some appetizers as well. So, uh, you know, some fresh Philly rolls. We have our firecracker shrimp on that menu. Love that. Uh, Add just, the whipped feta. So well, your yeah. regular menu items aren't going away, right? No, 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 no. It's still no. there, you're just adding Yep. Some yeah, just kind of a secondary menu, yeah. and all those items are on our original menu, yeah. so just kind of With the simple. uptick in business through Restaurant Week, do you recommend uh, reservations, especially for the evenings? Yeah, I would. Even with the uh, the crazy snowfall that we're having, I still recommend some res sure. uh, reservations just to kind of solidify your seat right. down at the restaurant there. Yeah. And they have such a beautiful dining area and also their bar area it is top notch too. I mean, you can't go wrong when you go to the cork with the aesthetics in there. It's just really beautiful. Yeah, yeah on Friday nights, we have uh, Danny and the Daddios playing right. pretty much every Friday throughout They're the year. Fantastic. And they are one of our favorite bands. They're kind of our house band as well at the cork. Yeah. It's one of their uh, originating factors with that band. So we love having them there every time. Terrific. Can you you have that grand piano in there, right? The that's right. Piano. Yeah, that's a self-playing piano. I jump on there and uh, tickle the keys here and there <laughs> when I get a chance. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Well, if you're not feeling like cooking tonight, visit the Skunk and right. Goat or Cork 1794, both which we've highlighted uh, during this hour. It is Restaurant <laughs> Week. It's kicking off today. It goes through uh, next Sunday, January 28th. Tom, thanks so much for being yeah. here. Yeah, thank you for having me.